Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be looking at order of operations and finding the value of expressions. Order of operations is going to tell you whether you should multiply, divide, add, or subtract first. Okay? And it all depends on what you have. So, you might remember this from high school. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Okay? Just lets you know that you need to do what's in parentheses first, then exponents, multiplication, division, addition, and then subtraction. Now, one of the things that teachers sometimes forget to tell you is that in multiplying and dividing, whoever is to the left, whoever comes first, is the one you do first. So in this case, if you had division on the left, that's what you would do first before multiplication. The same rules apply for adding and subtracting. Okay? And we'll do some examples. Here we have two plus three times five. Okay, I look at what at my order of operations. I don't have parentheses. I don't have any exponents. I do have multiplying and division. I always say those two at the same time because, like I said, uh, they feed off of each other. But here I don't have division, so I can just look at multiplication. And multiplication does go before addition, so that means that in this case I need to do this first. I need to multiply three times five. So. Uh, what I'm going to do is anything that I don't use, I'm going to bring down. So 2 plus, I'm going to bring down 2 plus. 3 times 5 is 15. And that's my new problem. That's all I have. Now I can just go ahead and add these two. 2 plus 15 is 17. There, that's my final answer for this expression. All right, what about here? Here I do have a parenthesis. It says 4 plus 2 times 3. Now with that parentheses though, this is telling me that I have to do whatever's in here first. In that case, I don't even have to worry about what's on the outside of the parentheses. So what's on the outside, I'm going to go ahead and bring down, so times 3. And let's see, inside the parentheses I had 4 plus 2, so bring it down, 4 plus 2 is 6. Now all I have is 6 times 3, there. There's nothing else that I have. So 6 times 3 is 18. And that's my answer. Okay, what about this problem? Here I have a parentheses, subtraction, and a parentheses. Same rules apply. I always do parentheses first. So in this case, I'm going to do my left parentheses and that one came first. So 4 plus 5. And notice that I, I'm going to write a parentheses underneath that. Just in case, depending on the problem, you don't have to, but sometimes it helps. 4 plus 5 is 9. I didn't touch this, so bring it down. Bring down that subtraction sign. And I have 8 minus 2. 8 minus 2 is 6. So now all I have is 9 minus 6. 9 minus 6 is 3. There you go. Alright, what if you have something like this? 2 plus 3 over 4 minus 19. Here you're not going to go ahead and start dividing anything. Okay? Here we're saying that the numerator is 2 plus 3. So that's like having parentheses for your numerator and also for your denominator. 4 minus 19. Okay? They're not going to give you this. They're going to give you this problem instead. But this is what it means. So we're going to do our numerator first. 2 plus 3 is 5 over 4 minus 19 is negative 15. Okay, that can be simplified, so I'm going to go ahead and simplify it. Divide by 5. So this is really 1 over negative 3. The thing is, a uh, uh, thing about fractions is that we never write the negative on the bottom. Okay? You'll always see them like this negative 1 over 3, which is actually the same as negative 1 over 3. And it actually is the same as this, 1 over negative 3. Thing is, whenever you write answers like that, just like when we write your name, you don't capitalize the second letter, okay? It's just one of the formal things that we do. We don't write our answers like this. We're gonna, even though they are equal, we're gonna go ahead and just write them like this, okay? 
go ahead and try these problems out. I wrote them in different colors. Um, go ahead and pause the video, write them down, and try them out, and see what you get. If you want, uh, if you want a hint for this last one, these are brackets, so it's like a double parenthesis. So here we see that we have a parenthesis, and then a parenthesis on the inside. So go ahead and try these out, and I'll give you the answers in a couple of seconds. Here are your answers. 20, 28, 7 over 30, and 38. Okay. Let me do one more set that has exponents, and then we'll be done for today. Alright, try these two out. No hints. I'll show you the answers in a couple of seconds. Alright, here are your answers. Notice that I did the parentheses, I got 5, squared it, that means 5 times 5, 25 minus 24 is 1. Here, I still have this parentheses, so I do what's inside first. What some people try to do is they try to square that 3, but you, you haven't done what's on the inside first, so you got to take care of that. So 1 minus 3 is negative 2. Okay, I have 30 plus negative 2 squared, got to square that first, so negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4, remember negative times a negative is a positive, positive. and then here we have 30 plus 4, this is 34, there. Next time we'll look at properties of real